Hey guys, how y'all doing this morning? Here, a little cold. Hope y'all are a little warmer. Everybody's doing good. So, a little cold morning. I figured the best thing to do, clear a little land, make me a nice big bonfire over here. Because huh. we still got, uh, you probably can't see it, but over here and, and over there, there's some, hey, someone's sneaking up. Hey, look, <laughs> it's a Shauna. It's cold. It's hard to see those in the wild out here when it's cold. This is a rare occasion, by the way, to see a Shauna running around in the cold. It, I like the cold. But we've got those piles from, well, almost pretty much a year. Well, no, yeah, it's been a year that they've been sitting there because we cleared this front area out at one point. Well, one year. To do a perk test so we could, you know, get the land. And then of course, after we did all that and really started looking at the property, started really thinking, this is gonna be pasture park. It, this isn't gonna be where we're gonna put our home at in the front. We wanna try to put it further back on the property now, so. Yeah, we don't we don't want our house this, this another, close to the road. So yeah, so now it's gonna be another perk test and stuff for later, but these are those piles we had sitting here that when we had to clear all this out, before so hope you enjoy today get a little cl clearing out doing some more here get us a little fire to keep us warm and then uh, we got an idea of some other things that we've seen that we want to get with you also uh, once we go grab some of the tools and stuff we need and give you a showing of that too so all right we're gonna get started trying to get this going so we can start getting our fire going to get warm, so. Hopefully, it is it, it is still deer season, so with the bamboo going off, hopefully the game one won't show up this time. Pardon the noise behind me. So, We've been stripping the tops off all this bamboo, keeping the, the good green ones. The brown ones were burned. They're loud. The brown ones were burning because they've been sitting here for a year and we don't have a lot of use for them except for they catch fire really quick. But I've been cutting all these off and we've been burning them. But Adrian from Farmstead Smith, and I'll leave a link to her channel below, had told me about tree hay. And not that she does it, but she had mentioned it. I haven't heard of it. I've heard of fodder and so forth, but never tree hay. So I did a little, very little bit of research. And from what I understand, we can cut these off bundle them up and dry them and use them as a pretty nutritious resource for our animals. I think it needs to be done in the spring where they're at their most nutritious. I'm going to do more research. If anyone of you know anything about tree hay, please leave that in the comments below. The more I learn, the better. And that's what we're all about here is trying to figure out easier, better, and more efficient ways to not waste so much. So feel free to comment below anyone that knows anything about tree hay. I'm not sure if y'all have noticed, I always have these in my pocket all the time. This is not paid, sponsored, or anything. I just love these. Jeff and I went to a farm and garden show about a year ago or two years ago, I think. This is ironwoodtools.com, but they're ratcheting clippers or pruning shears. These are the best things I've ever found. I'm in love with these. 
you can get some more ones on Amazon. I did buy another set because this one's starting to get old and a little worn out because I use it so much. But I don't like the other ones I got as much. These, even wearing out, still work better than the new ones I got that are a little cheaper. So, ironbeaches.com, these are the best things like my favorite tool, just so you know. All right, we got most of that bamboo kind of all picked up off the ground over here. So I'm just gonna go through now. I'm just kind of knocking out a lot of the little small trees and stuff. But I was just gonna mention, I got this Poland Pro, uh, 20 inch saw I think it's 50 cc's it's probably about the biggest saw I think I've ever had I've had some old you know those old green polens and stuff and I was really never a big fan of those things but tractor supply had you know Christmas sale or whatever on this thing so it was pretty cheap or cheapish I guess I'd say uh, 170 bucks I think it was something like that I really like it. I mean, this thing's been working really good. I mean, this morning, getting out here, I kind of played with it a little bit. I've used it a little bit already, but it was 25 degrees, I think, this morning when I started getting out here, and just a couple pulls. And this thing started up, and I haven't had a problems with it starting up. And it's been working really nice, and I guess I never noticed I've got that little Walmart Black Max 18 inch chainsaw that I thought was pretty good until I got this thing. I mean, well, that's like 38 cc, I think, and this is like 50 or 52, something like that. But you should check it out. I mean, it's a, it's a, for a moderately low price saw, I guess. It So far, it hasn't, you know, I've only been using it for about a month, but it's been working pretty good. Yeah. Let me get back to it. Sorry, I'm out of breath. If you notice, Jeff isn't cutting any bamboo down. And when it comes to bamboo and trying to clear it, you're always looking for something easier and better just from the sheer mass of how much bamboo there is. So we have another idea for the bamboo. That'll be in a future video, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, we're just gonna keep clearing. Hope you'll stick around. Let's talk trash for just a minute. I've mentioned before, even from the very beginning, how much trash we find on this property. Let me show you our haul so far today. We have a tire, some Pepsi bottle holders, Gatorade bottle, Michelob Light, who knows, Mountain Dew pill bottle, that's great. A board with nails still in it. Rubber mats, of course, because we have billions of those. Lots of beer cans and a whole bunch of wire. But that's not all the wire, let me show you something. Some things we just can't get out of here right away. It might be hard to see with the sun, but all this wire here, and there's bamboo that grew up right through it. And it's just like field fence, I guess, or goat panel, I'm not sure. Um, about two by four inch squares. And yeah, we're not getting this out anytime soon. With that, we have, let me see if I can get a better shot. This rope tied to a tree that fell. And I'm not sure you can see them, but look, more rubber mats. They're everywhere. And these cement blocks or cement rounds 
and they're hard to see with the way the sun's shining today through these trees but we've dug some of them out already like you can see we were able to get this one out so just a note on how important it is when you get raw land to not just if you're planning on clearing it yourself to not just go in with a mower and try to take everything out a bush hog can handle a Gatorade bottle but these tires wood with nails in them this would not be good for your tractor tires this wire would get caught up so easily in a bush hog it might be fine I wouldn't suggest I wouldn't do it personally only because with my luck so honestly just be really careful when you are trying to clear land yourself and you don't know what was on that property before you got here we really appreciate y'all coming along with us in these videos don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification so you don't miss one of our videos. This will allow you to see us taking this piece of property that you've seen is not ideal. And we're hoping to turn it into a thriving, very workable homestead. So stick around with us. We're going to get back to work. Do you have something? <laughs> oh, yeah. And when you're clearing land, don't get too discouraged because it seems like like I'm looking at it. Seems like I did a whole bunch. But then when I look at it, it doesn't look like I touched anything. I see all these little stumps I got sitting up here. But it's still the but I see the difference. He I guess, doesn't see the difference. I don't know. <laughs> so don't get discouraged when you're trying to, you know, clear it all out and everything. True. So Alrighty. Well, y'all have a great and wonderful day. Y'all be careful. We can't wait to see y'all till next time. Have a good one.